What a way to start the day. I'm in Wataka National Park, Kings Canyon as it's known. 400 million years ago, this was a windswept plateau covered in sand dunes. Not anymore. I think it's a pretty grand canyon. Erosion means the walls drop 100 metres from the plateau to the floor of Kings Canyon. And there's more. This sandstone plateau gives you a spectacular view on the other side as well, where you can properly survey how nature has created an image of sheer beauty. The six kilometre rim walk provides a sequence of magnificent views. There's plenty of places to rest along the way. I wonder what's on the wide screen right now. What I especially love about this place is that once you've enjoyed the view from the top, you can actually walk along the creek bed that formed the canyon. This place is very special for the Matuchara people who are the Aboriginal custodians of Wataka. Plants and trees thrive here because the walls of the canyon shelter them for much of the day from the intense sun. The Laricha people have made the canyon home for more than 20,000 years. Established rather more recently in 1981, Kings Creek Station, which is all things to all travellers. It takes up a large swathe of territory and in one corner there's a roadhouse where you can refuel your vehicle and your stomach, stay overnight and get up-to-date information from the friendly staff, including Jess Martin. Really, honestly, you could spend at least two weeks in the centre. Um, there's just so much to see from Uluru, Wataka, then you've got the East and the West McDonald Ranges. We like guests to feel like they're part of the family by the time they leave, and majority of them really do. I love being remote, um, love being away from the big cities, um, and this place, the red centre of Australia, pulls at your heartstrings, it really gets into your blood. Kings Creek Station covers 2,000 square kilometres. That's about the size of the country of Luxembourg. I wanted to see a bit more of it and I saw they did buggy rides. I thought, how nice, it'll be something like a golf buggy. But then I discovered, yes, I think this is the Stig's Australian cousin, Stigaroo and his mighty machine. It's a dream machine. This extreme version of being chauffeur driven enables you very quickly to appreciate the drama, the rugged terrain and the sheer scale of the property. After a day like that, I desperately want to find somewhere special and convivial to stay. I think I might have identified just the place. The latest addition to Kings Creek Station is a line of sophisticated tents. Well, with dusk chasing the day away, it's rather splendid to arrive here at Drover's Dream. And what have we got here? Beautiful queen bed, perfectly comfortable furniture for a tent. Um, I'm assuming this is the, uh, the bathroom. Look at this proper bathroom with the kind of shower that I think I probably need after this day. I've stayed at many self-catering properties in my time, but never quite like this. At Drover's Dream, you get your own private barbecue. The man who created this top-of-the-range back-to-basics property is Tony McFadden. Where you are tonight, the drover's dream. This is glamping at its very, very best. It's a very long way to come out and find this place. Yeah, look, it is. But I mean, one thing you would have noted is the, the landscape. Unbelievable. But out here, every step of the way, you fall in love with the place. Uh, yeah, we, we supply memories. 
120 kilometers from here, as the crow flies, there's a very celebrated monolith. But there are many other dimensions to the red center of Australia, and they will reward your investment in time and energy.